Did you know that people are making thousands of dollars every single month by selling N18 automation templates or workflow templates? And yes, you heard that correct. With N18, you are not just automating boring tasks. You are building AI agents, custom integrations and powerful workflows that businesses are willing to pay. So think about it for a second from a business perspective. So let's say there is a manual and boring task that will take a person three hours every single day to complete that particular task. Now, what if they could actually automate the entire stuff and get that thing that used to take like three hours to be done in just a single click. So the person used to take like three hours every single day to get that particular task done. And now with the press of a button, they can automate the entire stuff. And now definitely the business is going to be willing to pay for such kind of uh, automation or let's say workflow template, right? So that's where we kick in. So we will be building and selling N18 automations and workflow templates to people out there and businesses out there. And it, if it actually solves a really good pain point for them, they're definitely going to sell, right? And today in this video, I'm going to show you some proven ways you can make money by selling N18 automations and templates. So let's quickly get started. So this right here is N18. And as you might already know, I mean, a lot of you might already know about N18, right? So for starters, N18 is basically a workflow automation platform that allows you to build complex workflows and automation by connecting nodes together like this. For example, this right here is a N18 automation for onboarding new employees. So this right here is for security incident tickets. I mean, all of these are examples of different N18 uh, workflows, right? So as you can see, it all starts with a trigger node. And here we have an AI agent node that actually uses Anthropic's chat model and then a Postgres chat memory and then Jira software, etc. Again, all of these are connections to the AI agent right here. And then we have, okay, uh, checking whether the person is actually a manager or not. If it is a manager, then we will add them to a particular channel. And if it is not a manager, we then update the profile. Okay, so this writer is a plain, simple and basic example of the same. So in a similar fashion, you could create an automation to automate nearly anything. For example, this right here is a simple automation that I created that can automate the entire process of creating YouTube video thumbnails. So normally creating a YouTube video thumbnail will take literally forever, right? You will have to play with Photoshop forever and you have to add all these text, effects, images, remove the background and it is going to take forever. Now this right here is a perfect example of a uh, automation template that I could sell to a YouTuber, for example. And it is pretty simple and straightforward, right? So it all starts with this on form submission trigger right here. So I can maybe open it up. So this is basically a form. So a form that opens up and the user will be given the option to upload their photo and also give the requirement as to how they want to, let's say, design the thumbnail. And now we will convert that image and send it to Nano Banana, for example, and then we give back the result. Okay, so this is basically like a simple one. And just as to show you a demo, I'll actually run it for now. So if I click on this execute workflow option right here, it says YouTube thumbnail generator AI. Just describe how you want to design your thumbnail and we'll get it done. And now all that the user has to do is to just enter a prompt in here and also upload their photo. And as soon as they click on the submit button, they will get a full fledged thumbnail that they could directly upload to YouTube. For example, let me prepare a prompt and also upload an image in here. So here I have given the prompt and it says create a bold eye catching YouTube thumbnail featuring me. And again, I have just mentioned what kind of thumbnail I want. So basically, I want to create a thumbnail for a travel vlog for the topic. I'm visiting America for the first time. Okay, so that is basically the idea. And next up here, I have an image of me. So as you can see, this right here is the image that I use for almost all my thumbnails. Now I'm going to just upload that in here. And now as soon as I click on the submit button, wait for this, as you can see in the background, we are actually running this particular automation. And right now we are using Nano Banana to generate the thumbnail. And the cooler part is that the AI will even take care of generating the thumbnail in this specific size and aspect ratio. That is 16 is to 9 or 1280 by 720 pixels. And now, okay, so there you go. The thumbnail is ready. And now it will automatically download the thumbnail to my computer. Okay, so let's wait for it. There you go. And if I open it up, this right here is the thumbnail that the AI has created. So it says American dream finally came true. You can find a photo of me in here. Then here we have the Statue of Liberty, the American flag. And towards the right side, we can find, I believe, the Times Square or whatever that is. So in just a couple of clicks, I was able to create a thumbnail. So if I were to, let's say, manually create a thumbnail like this, it will literally take for me forever, right? Okay, so realistically speaking, it would take around, let's say, 30 minutes, at least 30 minutes to prepare a thumbnail like that. But in this case, I just uploaded a photo of me and explained what kind of thumbnail I want. And with the press of a button, the AI agent or automation that I created actually created 
navigate the entire thumbnail for me. Now, this is just one use case, right? So this is actually a use case that will be pretty much useful for almost all YouTubers and content creators out there. And this right here is a perfect example of a workflow automation, like a simple one that I could straight away sell to YouTubers out there. I know if I want to, I can even create a UI, like a nice UI uh, for this particular automation using Lovable or other AI tools and slap it as a backend and then get going as well. Now, this is basically an example of a AI agent or let's say automation and just for example or demonstration purpose here I created a simple one but in your case you could create a complex one for example let's say there's a restaurant in your area we want to create a editor automation that automates let's say the booking process so basically the idea here is that we can start with a whatsapp node and basically the people will be able to message their whatsapp number and select all these options like the table the number of people coming the time and all that and once they send all these messages we can actually create an anaton automation that will capture all these details and then updates all these details in a postgres sql database or let's say add this to a software of choice so we have options for all that whether it could be a restaurant business a salon business appointment booking so whatever be that kind of automation that you want to create whether it could be customer support you can create it using anaton and now this is basically how NATN works and by now I believe you have a solid understanding as to how NATN works and also basic workflows that you can create using NATN. And this right here is actually a very simple and basic NATN automation but you can create complex workflows by clicking on this plus button right here and you can add all these nodes like AI nodes right here then you can do actions in button. You can connect almost all these apps to your workflow in just a couple of clicks. I know if I were to explain all about these, it will literally take forever. But if you are a beginner and if you want to learn more about NATN, make sure to click the i button above or link in description below to watch a beginner friendly video that I created explaining all about NATN and also how you can quickly get started with NATN. Similarly, I have also created multiple videos of me creating NATN automations from scratch. So if you want to watch that, you can also click the link in the description below so you can get an understanding as to how this whole NATN stuff works. And now that you have a solid understanding as to how NATN works, the next step is obviously using NATN to build. But how exactly do you get access to NATN in the first place? Well, you have two options. The first option is to use NATN directly from NATN.io, which is NATN's official website. And again, if I go to their website, I can sign up for a new account and start using it. But the thing here is that it is pricey and very expensive. So as you can see, the starter plan that gives you only five concurrent executions and 2.5K workflow execution cost like to well over 2000 rupees that is the starter plan and now if you are rich enough to pay for this you totally can but if you're looking for a much affordable way to use NATN, the best option would be to self-host NATN. and again the thing about NATN is that it is actually a open source project that means you can self-host NATN and start using it for example you can actually use hostinger to self-host and start using NATN. and now when you think about self-hosting NATN, you might think it is like a very tedious process to do well not really in just a single click you can have a working self-hosted NATN up and running in no time so right now i'm in the hostinger website and if i scroll down as you can see plan starts from as low as 399 rupees like if you were to go with the official NATN io website you will have to pay like 20 euros minimum and here you can get started with like 400 rupees per month so that's a significant difference right and the even cooler thing is that the self-hosted version of NATN, like if you're about to use hostinger you don't really have any limits right as you can see here we have unlimited workflows unlimited concurrent executions and you get almost all the features and the easy thing and the interesting thing is that getting started is pretty simple and straightforward and now if you do want to self-host and start using NATN right away all you gotta do is to click the first link in the description below and head over to hostinger.com or, or this page right here and you can select an instance of choice so here we have a couple of plans you can select a plan that is suitable to you so in this case i'll select kvm2 and again if the requirement changes and if you want to let's say upgrade the plan in the future you can even upgrade the plan in just a single click and now it takes us to the cart and now i can go ahead and make a payment and again the interesting thing is that if you use the coupon that is astro you will get 10 percent instant discount for example let's say if i type astro and click on apply as you can see here we have 10 percent discount and again if you're about to let's say go with the 24 months plan then you can use the coupon that is astro 15 and get 15 percent discount so let me type that real quick astro 15 and apply and as you can see i have got like 15 percent discount so basically using NATN via Hostinger is the easiest and cheapest way or let's say most affordable way to use NATN and on top of that Hostinger even gives you one year free domain with this order as well. So that's also one more thing to keep in mind and next step you can just go ahead and select the server location. So it is always best that you select a server location closest to your region and then you can 
select any item which is automatically pre-filled and now you can click on this continue button and make the payment and you will already have your any item instance up and live so after the purchase is complete you can log into your hosting or edge panel and select the vps that we just added and if i click on this manage app button for the first time when you open it up it will show you an option to sign up for a new account like just enter your master admin uh, credentials for example create a new account and after that when i click on this manage app option as you can see this right here is our self-hosted version of n with almost all the features that you can think of and now you can click on this create workflow option and get started and again here you can find all the workflows that is currently active in your account and you can click on this create workflow button right here and there you go and you can start by adding a trigger and get going so this is basically how you create let's say a uh, NATN automation next up here comes the most important question how do you actually make money out of it now the thing is that there are multiple ways you can make money by selling NATN automations but primarily there are two ways the first one is actually using a freelance marketplace like fiverr and the second option is by directly selling your NATN automations to businesses out there who are possibly willing to pay for it by direct call outreach or let's say you can start a website and sell it as well and in this video i'll explain a couple of different ways you can make money by selling n automations so this right here is fiverr and i just searched for the keyword n and as you can see all of these are different gigs offered by people that promises to create n automations to automate complex workflows and tasks for example this right here so i can click on the same so the person is charging hundred dollars for the basic plan $200 for the premium plan and then $400 for the premium plan with up to 15 nodes and optimization and it says I'll streamline your workflow with n and boost productivity through automated uh, services so basically this person will create a n and automation so as a business I might have some manual tasks that I need to automate well I have to create a requirements file first and then I can reach out to this person ask him to let's say create an n automation and I can give all my requirements and he will create a n and automation if I pay him right what 200 or 400 dollars and as you can see this person has already completed thousand plus orders already and in a similar fashion if I go ahead and let's say search for this one right here so okay so this is like what $3,150 for creating a automation using n and AWS, make.com, Zapier, etc. Okay, so $3,000. So think about it. And now this right here is, let's say, yet another one for $50. Okay, and as the complexity increases, they also increase the price. The advanced n and AI systems and dogs cost around like $500. Now the point is that if you're proficient enough to create n and automations like this, you can now go ahead and sign up for an account at Fiverr and then post a gig offering to create n and automations based on the requirements that the client have. And now once you have your gig up and running on Fiverr, every time a person is looking for let's say automating their work, they can actually search for n and on Fiverr, find your gig, click on it, view all the details and make the purchase or let's say hire you for completing that particular task and they will give you all the requirements you can create an automation using n and give it back to them and that way you get to make money i know it's all about scaling right so that is one way you have so this is basically a way you can actually use freelancing platforms like fiverr to sell n automations and make money the second option is that you directly sell your services to people out there and for this you have a couple of options the first option is that you directly sell n automations from your own website. So you create highly advanced and complex n automation that solves real pain points for businesses and people out there. And after that, you create a website and sell all these. So this right here is an example of a website selling n automations and they're selling all these automations for like $30, $59, $50, $77. So all these are different n automations and now I can browse as a visitor I can browse this website for example let's say this right here is a uh, okay post to all social media networks and it an automation and now I can click on add to cart and purchase this and they even have provided a setup video as well so this is actually one more way if you have a personal website if you want to you can actually sell and an automations from your website and the next option that you have is to directly reach out to people out there or businesses out there and offer to create and an automations for them for example you could reach out to specific businesses for example a restaurant for example let's say a digital marketing agency or let's say a salon or some businesses that needs appointments customer service whatever that is you could reach out to a business and ask what is the task that is taking the longest time for you to complete and what is something that you would like to automate now you can directly reach out to uh, businesses out there and ask the requirements and if you feel like you can create an automation that can actually solve the pain point and also automate things for them then you can offer to create an automation for them and also charge them for the same 
and again as i mentioned in the beginning of the video for example let's say for a business it takes three hours every single day for a person to complete a particular task like a manual work and now if you could automate it such that they they can actually do it in just a single flick they'll definitely pay you right so that is the thing so if you can find such kind of use cases and if you can reach out to businesses out there and you can send called email called calling and all that and you can introduce yourself to these people or let's say businesses and if you can find a requirement that you can solve by creating a uh, nitn workflow you can get going from there create it for them and get paid so that is also one more important way you can make money using nitn now the whole flow is that first of all you have to master nitn so you have to be very proficient in nitn and you should know about all these nodes and all that and there are hundreds of thousands of videos on youtube already that helps you become a master of nitn and once you know the inside out of entire nitn workflows nodes and all that you can start selling your services on fiverr your own website or you could even start a nitn agency and reach out to businesses out there and offer nitn creation services and you can get going and again if you're looking for the easiest way to self-host and start using nitn hostinger is the way to go so rather than having to pay like what 22,000 rupees per month i get access to a full-fledged self-hosted version of nitn for just 400 rupees so that's the different that's the kind of difference that we're talking about so this is exactly what i wanted to show you in this video so as you can see people are already making thousands of dollars by automating tasks manual tasks for businesses and selling nitn automation on platforms like fiverr and also selling templates on their own website or even manually reaching out to businesses out there and now if you are too good at nitn you can also go ahead and start selling all these automations and start making money out of it i know that's pretty much all i wanted to show you in this video and now if you're looking for the easiest and most affordable way to self-host and use nitn definitely make sure to click the first link in the description below and use hostinger and you can use their one click option to self-host nitn and start using it right away i know that's pretty much all i wanted to show you in this video and again i hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one